Hello my friends, welcome to Proem Strings. I'm Henriette and this is lesson 12 in the violin class for beginners that uses the click bomb method. And today we're going to put all that we've learned in the previous lessons together and we're going to play study number one. That is to say, it's called study number one when you use the red book and you can find this study on page 15. However, if you learn from the older version of the book, I'll just get it for you. Um, so if you have a version like this, it is actually called Etude number no. 2, and that is on page 6. So, a uh, 6, 7, I should say. So it starts right here, it's this one there. So before we start with our Etude or our study today, I'd like to get back to basics a little bit and start building up our stance and our awareness of tension in our body. So if you step forward with your left foot, so we haven't got a violin in our hands at the moment, step forward a little bit with your left foot and we're just practicing that rocking movement going forwards and backwards so that you get used to not swaying sideways when you play the violin but you always rock gently forwards and backwards and our legs are really quite supple so have a slight bend in your knees so that you've got this energetic stance while you play. Now let's just work on our shoulders a little bit next and what I'd like you to do is lift your shoulders up towards your ears and then drop them down and let's do that again. Raise your shoulders and drop them down and now see if you can drop them even further down than that. Okay, let's roll your shoulders backwards. Good job and forwards. Very good. Now, you have noticed that we have also been practicing holding the violin with just our neck. So let's warm up our neck a little bit by shaking yes, very gently, and no. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder and now see if you can roll your head forwards to the center and then lift up again. Now drop your right ear to your right shoulder and gently rock forwards to the middle. And we'll do that again, look up again. Left ear to left shoulder. Let your head roll forwards and up. Right ear to right shoulder and rock forwards. Very good. Okay, so we've warmed up and made our muscle groups more aware of where they are, so we're ready to play. So I'll assume that you will have tuned your violin and that your bow is nicely tightened and you've got some rosin on your bow. And what I'd like you to do is to put, place your violin up on your left shoulder, slide it gently to your left so that the corner of your jaw is over the chin rest. You may hold your left hand here for now. And we're just going to do some open string bowing and I'm going to play every open string starting on G four times before moving on to a higher string. And we're going to do that with a straight bow. So in a moment we're going to check over our bow hold, but then I want you to stretch your bow arm forwards and then back. So that's what we're aiming for. So let's double check that bow hold again. A nice bent thumb, fingers over the bow, your little finger, if you can curve it on the side edge, that's really, really good. After four, we'll go on to the G string and play with long straight bows and one, two, three, four. to the D string. Lovely, well done. Now let's 
get our left hand in position and you may still have a finger line on your finger. If not, then please write one down now. So you write the finger line in the crease where your index finger is attached to your hand. And this finger line goes right next to the E string. My thumb is sitting upright there, just peeking over the edge. And it's not squeezing, it's just very soft there. And then as a third preparation, I'll check my wrist and I'll make sure that I've got a space for a large tennis ball in here. So we want to make sure we're not playing like this, but you, you push your left wrist back a little bit so that your fingers are nicely curved over the strings. Now let's now play with long bows and we're just practicing uh, an open string followed by finger one followed by finger two and we're going to try singing that note that next note in our head as we've done in previous lessons so let's play every note twice actually so we're starting with two times the open a string and <laughs> Stop the bow for a moment. Let's place your first finger on the string. Let's stop here for a moment and let's imagine what that second finger is going to sound. Remember to leave your first finger on the string while you play the second. Off we go. Lovely, well done. Shall we do that again? Take all your fingers away, check your finger line. Here come our two A's and... Stop, place your first finger. It's going to sound like that. Stop, place your second finger. And if you've done it correctly, your two leftover fingers are not here. Can you just check that? But they're hovering. Lovely. Okay, let's go ahead and play our study now. And I'm going to go about halfway along this study. Um, and I'll tell you where I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop where the crutches begin. If you have a red book, that is about here in the middle. So I'm going. this is going to be my last note that I'm playing today. So we're going to not play this bit. Now if you have an older version of this book, I'll show you too. And if you have an older version of this book, I'm going to go up to here. So this is the fourth line at the end of the second bar. Where the crotchet notes begin, I'm going to stop. So we'll finish here on a semi-breve, you might remember that word or a whole note in American at school. So stop when you hit your crutches. We're not going to go this, we're saving this for the, the next lesson. And I'm going to go all the way from the beginning up to that point. Now it may be that you can easily follow on joining me with the playing up to that point, and that's marvelous if that happens. However, I can totally understand, and it's perfectly okay if you get uh, to only maybe one line or two lines and you can't quite get as far as where we are stopping today That's all good. So just carry on listening then and join in whenever you feel ready again So let's get you ready We're going to play all the notes with long bows and some of you may have noticed that there are slurs these little arched bowings um, are over the notes if you know what they mean they are slurs um, we're going to ignore the, these altogether because we're just going to play separate bows, okay? Uh, so every note gets the whole bow. That means that sometimes you play a two count note, a minim, uh, and you play the whole bow on that. And occasionally you get a semi-breve, in America that's called a whole note, which lasts for four counts. But we're also going to use a whole bow on that note, so my bow is going to go a little bit more slowly. We're even at some point going to play a dotted minim, which is a, a minim or a half note with a dot after it, which lasts for three counts. So also that three count note 
is going to get the whole bow. So you're somewhere in between the two count notes and the four count notes with the speed of your bow. Just make sure that you cover the whole bow length from the heel to the point and back on each note. In other words, shall we go now from the beginning? Check over your finger line, your thumb and your tennis ball. Check over also your bow hold and your stance. And I'm going to count us in for four. One, two, three, four. that is by far the longest stretch of violin playing that you've ever done before so congratulations well done it's yet another little step in the right direction isn't it now it may be that you've got a little bit confused about the length of the notes so let me show you once again how we count this piece So when we see a right note, um, it is a two count note. In England it's called a minim. In America you guys call this a half note. Two counts. So my bow travels fairly fast on this note. Here's also a minim or a half note and a minim or a half note and a minim and a minim and a minim and a minim until we get here where we see a whole note and this note its stems go missing as you can see and that means that we play it for four counts um, so this is called in England a semi brief and in America it's called a whole note and a whole note as we said is four counts long and when you play this on your bow your bow travels incredibly slowly namely half the pace of a minim or a half note you see now then we've got minims half notes again here all that way and here we get a dotted minim or a dotted half note and a dot after a note means add half as much again so this was originally two counts and we're adding one count so altogether this note now is three counts and our fourth beat is this one and it is a rest then we've got minims again, or half notes, two count notes. That's our semi-breathe, or our whole note. Four counts, 
Two count notes, I guess you might know by now what they are called. Help a thing. Minims or half notes. And then we've got a four count note again here, which was called a semi breathe or a whole note. That's right. And so we go on. Two counts each on these notes, four counts on this one, this one. Two counts each on this one, four counts on this one. Here, let's practice it once again what these notes are called. Two minims, two half notes in America. And this is our next one, a whole note or a semi brief. So four counts. Minims again here or half notes. And a four count note here, a semi brief or a whole note. Wow, shall we play that again? Right. Now, let's check our stance. Let's have our violin up properly on our shoulder, not too high, not too low. Just tilt it a little bit to the right. Okay, let's have your left hand in position. Your finger line is level with the E string. Your thumb is nice and soft here. And you've got a nice wide space for a tennis ball. And then let's check our bow hold finally before we can actually start. Preparation is key here, isn't it? It's half your job done when that's all good. Okay, bend your thumb, bend your little finger. Let's get ready on the A string now. After four. One, two, three, four. something new to your playing and I want you to see if you can make the bow changes so when you go from a down bow to an up bow or at the heel from a, uh, an up bow to a down bow I want you to make these as smooth as possible and I'll show you what I mean by that what I sometimes hear is this can you see a big jerk when you change bowing and I want you to listen out if there might be a hint of that in your playing because it's quite common lots of people do that so please don't think that you are the only person doing that if you're not that's absolutely great if you are having a trace of a jerk in your bowing let's see if we can soften it up on the bow changes shall we and we're going to carry on now where we've stopped so after the crotchet rest after the quarter note rest here we go one two three Four.
well done. Very good. You've learned enough new notes and new styles of playing for this lesson. Let's just put your bow down and let's build a bit more stamina and strength now by putting your violin up on your shoulder. And I'd like you to see if you can hold this violin just with your neck. Let's hold it and let's see if that might work. Great. Just reset it if you need to. Let's try it again. Great. Now in the previous lesson we were holding this for 10 counts. So let's see if we can hold this violin hold for 15 counts today, shall we? Hair out of the way. Let's see. Are you ready? Are you having it in the correct position? Ready? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one absolutely fantastic really well done and you see that you're building up stamina all that time now let's finish with our left hand pizzicato exercise shall we stick your thumb in the corner here bring your elbow under the violin and your fingers high up and over so that you can reach the g-string with your pinky and we're playing every note four times Pinky for G, here we go, and one, two, three, four, my ring finger is for D, one, two, three, four, middle finger for A, index finger for the E string, Give your elbow a good swing here. Make it nice and loose, opening up your shoulder. Smashing. Let's do it again. G with your pinky and one, two, three, four. D with your ring finger. One, two, middle finger for A. Index finger for E. Super. Gently move your elbow again. So we open up that shoulder again. And with that, you have deserved a, a well-earned rest. Very good. I'm delighted that you've made it all the way through to the end of this video. So thank you for sharing your precious time with me. I very much look forward to finishing this study in our next lesson. So until then, goodbye.